So on to stage 10, the first part of the marathon stage, heading into the heart of the empty quarter. Rapid sections with lots of off-piste and plenty of dunes. A potentially decisive double header for the rally leader Ricky Brabeck, especially with no assistance at tonight's bivouac in Shibaita. Stage 9 went a Pablo Quintanilla opening the road, and it wasn't easy riding into direct sunlight for the first 100 kilometers or so. The high winds also wreaking havoc. Disaster for Abdullah Al Shati as he crashed out. The Kuwaiti had already been forced to quit on his debut last year due to mechanical problems. In the end, the day's stage was shortened, only 223 competitive kilometers. Up at the front, a leading trio of Toby Price, Quintanilla and Joan Bereda. Over all together from around the 130 kilometer mark, with Bereda making up the most time, the Spaniard actually won the stage in the end, moving onto the podium ahead of Price. It was a generally straightforward day navigation-wise with two caps for the first 100k, although the leaders did get turned around once or twice. Quintanilla also losing a bit of time on the day, and that meant that Brabeck extended his overall lead, Bereda moving to within two minutes of second place. The trio riding together all the way to the refueling zone. Two-time champion Price admitted that it's going to take something special to prevent Brabeck from becoming the first American to win the Dakar. Uh, Ricky's riding really well at the moment, so um, yeah, he's uh, he's been positioning himself really well on the race, and um, and then yeah, he's pushed really hard when he needs to. So yeah, he's doing a doing a very uh, very strong and very good race at the moment. So um, definitely, uh, it's going to be a hard one to beat. Well, Brabeck coming in second on the day. That means that he will have Bereda just in front of him tomorrow and Kevin Benavides just behind. History beckons for the American. The racing eventually stopped after the neutral zone due to the high winds and a series of early crashes. We had fewer helicopters and a lot of wind, so we couldn't guarantee optimum safety conditions. We don't take risks, so we've stopped at the end of the first special. And the riders making their way to Shibaita via the road then, nice and easy does it. Certainly not a bad thing for their machines on a day when they won't have any assistance waiting at the bivouac. Overall the gap, 25 minutes and 44 seconds from Brabeck to Quintanilla. The Chilean looks set to slug it out with Bereda and Price for a place on the podium. There was a bit of a shake-up in the quads today. The stage victory going to Kamil Wisniewski as Ignacio Casale lost around 45 minutes. A very bad day for Casale after he got lost at waypoint 13 and finished 17th. It's the first time all Dakar he's been outside the top three. Nevertheless, the Chilean remains in top spot with just over 16 minutes in hand over the Frenchman Simon Witzer.